Welcome to Discomfort's channel. We're gonna play some awesome games. Oh yeah! Hello and welcome back. I'm here with Cliff. We are back on this marathon of random games off of Steam, and we are doing faster than light right now. So, Cl Cliff, you know anything about FTL? Not at all, apparently. Well, let's just jump more. right in. Um, new, new game. New game. I'm guessing. You probably want to press easy because normal is gonna. You're gonna die instantly. Um, you can change your ship. This one is a uh, missile-based ship. It's your starting ship. That one's a drone-based ship, and that one's like. Uh, I don't know. I haven't even used that one, but it has too many flaws on account of it doesn't have scanners. But. Uh, I think I'll go with this one. FTL is sort of a semi roguelike uh sort of uh space sim combat simulator overhead management freaking game. Yeah, it looks very dense. There we go. Alright, we got sound now. So let's uh keep on keeping on there clip so right now you're in a nebula so your scanners don't work so you can't see what's inside your ship the first thing you need to do is put one of those guys at each of their stations so that dude needs to probably go to either engines or weapons and then the other guy needs to go to either engines or weapons or shields so you're gonna left click on the dude and then right click on the spot you want him to go so there's your weapon dude so that dude will make your weapons fire faster the engines are in the back Shields, you got the health med, med bay, you got trust the chick with the engine. Life support, all kinds of stuff. So that's the idea is like you have to manage what parts of your ship get power and get manned by your little dudes, and that affects how you're gonna be in combat, etc. Do I need to worry about what appears to be the oxygen? No, tank? you only have to worry about life support and that kind of stuff if they get destroyed. So during combat, like, if they shoot different parts of your ship, they will get damaged and you have to send your guys into repair. And uh, you can also open doors, including airlocks, uh, but that will, like, push... Is Willow them. even doing anything? Uh, maybe not. Maybe you should put them in shields or something. I don't know. But, uh, now he's doing something. Alright, so you're going to go up to the top and press jump. And then you're going to pick a spot to go. I'm guessing one of the spots is... One of the ones with the dotted line. And that's going to be what's within your distance. I would say, yeah, go to one of the ones that don't have a blue circle because those are nebulas. And you kind of want to stay away from nebulas, even though it's not the end of the world. So then... So the idea is you're trying to go through the galaxy to fight the rebel ship or whatever. And pirates, but, apparently. And pirates, but the, the rebels are, like, chasing you or something, so you have to, like, watch out for them, and well, so you're gonna you're gonna fight these dudes. Yeah, I'm get, will I ever get more options besides turn and fight? So, I'm gonna tell you to go ahead and pause it. Now, here's, here's what we're doing. So, first off, we're gonna go down here, and we're gonna power up your weapons. And now I probably want someone manning guns. So, as you can see over here, you don't need somebody to man guns, but I think your guns will reload faster if you have someone manning guns. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this guy. I can't do that now because yeah, it's paused. Pause. But uh, so over here you've got your uh, amount of spare energy. And then down here, so engines have two energy things and all this can be upgraded. Your weapons are over here. Shields. But first off, you want to power up your, your weapons. So this one is a missile weapon and this ties into your ammo that's up here. And this one is an energy First weapon, so the it's gonna be energy. In it, well, their ammo, their infinite ammo, basically is oh. how those, it's how those function. So you're gonna, for example, click on your on uh, your weapon, then you're gonna click on a part. So I like to do missiles. So the deal is, missiles bypass shields. So it's good to have a missile go in first to take down the shields, and then, and then the lasers can dangerous. attack other parts. So let's say we want the laser attacking the weapon, so they can't shoot back. No, I wouldn't even want to take out their life support. Because that would be slow acting, because it takes time for the oxygen to dissipate. Makes sense. Um, so, let's unpause, and we're going to see how that goes. And okay. then, you're basically so, in charge from this point forward. Yep. And, uh, 
And there's also an auto auto fire if you want to just set it up for them to keep shooting continuously. Or you can manually do it all and now they're shooting your stuff and they took out your scanners so you can't see what's inside your ship and they're gonna go away and so your I shields guess, are down. I guess I have to wait for okay. Then let's go there. Alright, so you successfully destroyed their ship, but you're in this asteroid field and your shields are damaged. Yeah. So you wanna uh, send your dudes to the damaged parts of your ship and they'll repair it. Yeah. Right. Well, and okay, then as soon as you can, you want to jump out of there because the asteroids will continue to batter your ship, which is bad. Okay, so what other parts of the ship are damaged? Let's see. So that dude's your pilot, so you probably don't want to move him just yet. You can jump out of the system if you want, but you also have to keep in mind that it's potentially you're going to run into more pirates. More pirates, and I'll be in bad but position. But you're in and a so bad situation do now. Asteroids, so do you, you probably want to stop do asteroids, or do asteroids? Bother. They do, but, but it's going to batter the shield. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, woot. This is a bit of risk. It looks like you got a fire somewhere in your ship. Oh, this this motherfucker looks. This dude wants looks, it to bring you down, so you can either fight him or pay the toll pay their toll and do I like okay so where is I'm guessing scrap scraps is scraps at money. the top so you got 46 scrap yeah I'm not I'm gonna I'm gonna be a pussy and not all right not so I think you have a fire in your bottom airlock so you can but you can't because you, your doors are damaged you need to re repair everything Shoot. send one of your dudes to repair the scanners send one of your dudes to repair the doors oh, let's see okay you're on the engine the engine's running fine Okay, and where are the scanners? Are these That's the scanners. And which room controls the freaking doors? I mean, it's that one, the one right above the scanners. Button. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, since we're not anywhere bad, we can... Oh, there's... There's your fire. So, theoretically, if... When you have a fire, it's good to, like, open all the, the airlocks, and then the oxygen going out will kill the fires. But since your doors are damaged, you can't even do that right now. Yeah. So now you have to manually fight the fires, which is going to damage your dudes. And you might want to micromanage when they're exposed to the fire because they take damage and that dude's not doing Ooh, so hot. Those freaking... No, don't go in the fire. Well, then take him somewhere else because he's, go, he's go out of, go an out inch of. from death. Let's see. And yeah, we're going to need you to somehow fight those fires. This went really badly, Cliff. Yeah, man, it's like everyone's... Man, and the fire's spreading. Oh, dang, people are dying. This is... This is terrible. Freaking... So what happens when the crew dies? It's game over. We might as, might as well send the pilot in to fucking end things. How are you feeling about this, Cliff? I mean, this looks like a cool game, it's just I had no idea what to do about all those fires since I couldn't use the doors. But now it looks like the doors are working. So the secret is that so. you could have bought upgrades in your first turn, but I intentionally didn't tell, tell you that Damn, because I wanted something like this to happen. That's terrible. This That's just cold-blooded. Jesus. It's the first thing I always do in a new game of FTL is buy is upgrade my doors to prevent fires from spreading. Dang, this is... And, and dang. All right, That's just press restart, and we'll 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 start up a new game. All right. So hit that. Continue. continue. Now up there next to the jump is a ship button. So press that. So this is where you can buy upgrades for your ship. Um, the subsystems. So that's your door, and uh, th that will improve uh, impede fire spread and intruder movement. So that's a good good thing to have first off. Second thing I usually do is upgrade my uh, scanners so that I can see inside other dudes' ships. And then you also want to upgrade your power capacity and your other stuff, but you don't have enough scrap yeah, right now. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. That's... So let's uh, assign your dudes to their posts. Keep forgetting I need to... Yeah, you need right-click to get them to move. And yeah, let's see. I'll send that dude to weapons, I would... I would do if he'll do it this time. There may just not be an animation until you actually get into combat. Well, yeah, I might. So I just say I just say leave him there for now, and jump. we'll see how it goes. We'll go to this part of the grave. So go wherever you want, and we will be good to go this time.
Also, you might want to go ahead and power up your weapons just in case. I want to power up the weapons. Just like... click on them. Well, you got to get rid of that box first. All right. So you got weapons just in case, and there wasn't really anything here, so you're going to jump, jump to the next sector. Or not sector, the next system. We'll still stay on this area, okay. Alright, so this dude... Especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free on So That's just a bizarre request. That's the thing. You'll run into slavers a lot, and oh, okay. they will either want one of your crew members, which is a really bad move, or you can fight them, which is probably it's better most of the time. That's pretty much all I have to do, all I so, can really do. Fight these suckers. You did something wrong. You just gotta left-click on it. Okay, awesome. And damn. Alright, so they're trying to escape. Sometimes they'll give you an offer to make you stop fighting them, but they have not done that in the situation. So those suckers are dead. You got some scrap. Awesome. So, you can look at your upgrades again. You got 38. Up upgrade your scanners. So, that'll let you see inside the enemy ship. So, what's the difference between C. Okay. So, okay, C ship interior. That's the next thing. Okay, yes. So C. And 13. No, that's pretty much it. Except, and we'll jump. And this game is awesome. Full Rizzo. Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from nearby. Okay, so this is another risk reward situation. So you can send an away party. So if you send an away party, there's a chance that they will come back with awesome loot, or there's a chance that some of them will die. So I only have three. Like, do you build up more crew you can, members? You'll, you'll get more crew members later. But uh, so you have to make a judgment call on whether you want to risk it or whether you want to just keep it safe. We don't have enough people to risk it. So the net, that's a store. You don't have much money, but there are stores. Um, or you can just keep on keeping on. Uh, okay. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by space pirate. The victim begins a distress me begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. Except they're bri Oh, that's a lot of scrap. Try to be a hero, attack the pirate. Kevin, what would you do? I feel like you might take the offer. I would probably attack the pirate, because you get way more than 15 scrap for killing these dudes, more than likely. Again, it's sort of a dice roll. Yeah, because I want to engage more in this game, I will I will fight these mofos. And let's go, where is there? Yep. Fuck your shields. And lasers after... Your weaponry. So they damaged your uh, weapons there, so you don't have access to your burst lasers just yet. Okay. Fine. Our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. Except the more generous bribe. Okay. Well, the fact that they're pussying out means they're pussying out. So, so your weapons are back up, so you can activate your burst laser again. But again, it has to charge. Or you can yeah. drop another missile. We'll fuck up that engine. Alright. You scrap. didn't Pardon. really get out of it with much. Yeah, but we saved some people that we never saw. Yes. But, okay, thank the heavens you show. Okay, maybe we yes. don't have much Yeah, off. sometimes if you save dudes, they'll give you stuff, but... Vaginas. Keep on keeping on. Oh, we can... Do I want to upgrade weapons? So, in order to upgrade your main systems, you also have to upgrade your reactor in order to have the energy necessary. And but, uh... Where is the reactor? That's the bottom right grid. Okay. So that gets you more power bars that you can use on your main systems. And then, of course, upgrading your systems gets you better stuff, so better shields, faster engines, and more weapon slots. Uh, now we make another jump. Ooh. So you can see on the on the left of that screen, there's a wave coming, 
And so that red wave is the rebel fleet or whatever. And so if they catch up to you, then you have to fight them off, which is problematic. So I'm you're guessing they're actually tough. Son of a bitch. Yes, yeah, so you're sort of time limited in this stuff. So now you're next to a sun, so you're you're subject to solar flares, which can be damaging just like those this asteroid region, belts. This region has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of there or die. A pirate, apparently, oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves in to engage. Fucking idiot! Um, so, do I have so, no choice but to fight these Yeah, fuckers? you need to kill this guy and then jump as soon as your FTL drive charges. Or else you're gonna get hit with solar flares and stuff. The ship repeatedly hails you. It looks like they want to surrender. Yeah, it looks like they want to surrender. So, why would I not accept their so, surrender? again, you can either take their offer, or you can kill them. Sometimes killing them gets you more stuff, but sometimes it gets you less stuff. Again, uh, everything is risk-reward, and everything is sort of a dice roll. Is there anything I can do to mitigate this while I wait? Not until you jump. Jumping is the primary defense in this situation. Jump, jump. You have your weapons activated, you need to right-click. Right-click, jump. Get out of there. There are only two ships within range and they seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has the marking of Space Pirate. Aid the civilian ship. We'll try that. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. So you want to reactivate your burst laser. And then kill this dude. Alright, they damage your weapons again, so you have to wait for that to fix. Oh, so shoot, the burst laser won't fire off. Correct. Dang. That's annoying. You can reactivate your burst laser now. So this is a situation where you can open the doors leading to that fire, and then the oxygen will come out. How do I open? So oh, click, just yeah. click on doors, leading to that airlock at the top. The response: a good thing you came when you did. We'd be dead right now. The captain offers to install a piece of equipment on your ship. That sounds dope, uh, man. Okay, not that door. Other doors. Those doors. And that one? No, the ones to lead outside. So the two at the top. And that one. Okay, so now the oxygen is leaving, and once the oxygen leaves, that'll put out the fires, and then you should be good. Awesome. So now you can either close those doors manually, or there's a close doors button down here, which is the top one. That's open all doors, that's close all doors. Why would I want to ever open all doors? You wouldn't necessarily, but they just give you a button for it. So now let's jump. So now your uh, life support will gradually refill those rooms with distress, oxygen. Distress, distress, I'm guessing. Yes, so you want to go handle any situation you want to, but keep in mind that the rebels are coming from the left, so you want to get out of the, the sector before they show up. Okay, once you arrive to the location, distress, call a civilian, hails you, thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't pop, plot a course to the nearest... Depot to get it fixed. So this is a quest. If you accept this quest, they will need you to take them to another star system. Yep. But again, you run the risk well, of the rebel the rebels catching up to you. Yeah. Let's see. But you, I mean, you can accept it and then just never do it. So it's yeah. it's you never want to re 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 decline these. So. Okay. And so. Also, you've got plenty of scrap now, so it might yeah. be a good time to upgrade your stuff. Time to, yeah. So you've got that firebomb, right? So upgrading. First off, you're going to want more power, and you're going to want to upgrade your weapons. And so. How do I upgrade whip? Okay, so... So weapons. that's your weapons. So you'll get more system power for that. And then you also want to upgrade your actual power power. And the power power it's is... the bottom right. That one. Yep. That's about it. So some more system power. Alright, so. so accept that. Let's take a look. So here's, here's a situation where power management comes into play. So you have four possible power for... Also, you need to send a dude to fix your uh, med bay. Um, so your weapons system has four power bars. 
and you have five power bars worth of weapons. So you can either leave your Artemis and your burst laser, or you can uh, disengage the Artemis to give you the two power for your firebomb, whichever one you want to do. But keep in mind that the firebomb has a longer recharge, yeah. so you're not going to get fired as much, but it's more powerful. So I'm probably going to have to wait. I should probably wait before I actually start using the firebomb. So, bomb. yes, it's, it's, again, all about your judgment calls. So I have four... So is this, I have four total power, and I'm only it's, using Yeah, three. you have up to four power, and you're only using three power for it. Do I want to maximize, but eh, it does, is going to be slow. So what you could do instead is use your extra power on the left to upgrade your engines, because you have extra weapon or extra power slots on your engines, which are down there, yeah. that one. Okay. So you can do that. And you have one more extra power, which you can also put in engines. Or there you go. So I guess you're good. So again, okay. it's all about the slow grind to upgrade your stuff. Okay. And so now that I have this quest, the jump. Is there anything that? Okay. There's your quest. So, but to get there, that's probably the the last thing you want to do before you leave the sector. Okay. So then, just jump again. Yes. Those motherfuckers are getting closer. Oh, is this, I guess, a store? So that's a store. If you have the scrap, which you don't really have, you can get, like, weapons and fuel if you want. And fuel is... And this is also where you can hire crew, or you can pick up crew from doing some missions. You don't have enough money for crew. Yeah. So let's say drone part. A lot so of you, deploy drones. you don't have a drone system, so you don't really have a use for drones. But zero. you do need... You only have three missiles left. So we'll close that and we'll jump and hit exit. Exit. Okay. Well, this is a pretty dope game. Full Rizzle. Variety of long range beacon when the FLT drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Um, but. So they give you one last chance to buy some fuel. And then you can jump to the next sector. And how do I jump to the next sector? On the right. Now? So now you get to choose which sector you go to. So there's a nebula sector, which are kind of tough to get through. So and there's an Engi control. So that's a civilian sector. And you also have to plan ahead. You're going to choose either one or two. So uh, uncharted. So that'll take you that tree, and then that one will take you down. Man, they, this game really loves its graphs. Pretty much. <laughs> You're right. Space the matches have been threatening the anti core worlds, but you should be able to stock up your journey. Alright. So now, so now it's a whole new world. A whole new world. Don't say that. Oh. You follow the stress being a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you, help, our shields are down, and I don't know how much longer we can last. Try to shield their shield with yours and escort them out of the field. Man, these people don't give you a lot of scrap for stuff. And so I'm guessing this is another leave? Like, because I'm confused. No, you just you just did it and you got no. the scrap for it. Okay, that was easy. That was all it took. Is this still another decision or whatever? It doesn't matter. You ride at a Zoltan research facility. Zoltan! <laughs> they say they they say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis due to stasis sleep and prolonged FLT travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. This sounds a little bizarre. Hmm. It's it's your bizarre. call, Cliff. Your crew calmly lines up for the Zoltan the Zoltans to take their readings after a short time the process is done they contact you thank you for your participation in our study please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap cash yeah you overheard mantis communication chatter oh, communication chatter Agreed. Next ship is your turn. Good hunting. They don't see you yet. 
You power down non-essential systems and wait for FLT drive to charge. They either don't want to fight or have failed to notice. Uh, Talking to the microphone, Cliff. Don't talk to your breath. Well, the, the viewers don't need me to read everything out. They can read. A ship refuel or ship refueling station is stationed at this beacon. We can purchase fuel here. So usually Much these fuel. beacons have cheaper fuel than if you buy them at a store. So it's usually a good idea to stock up. But again, it's all about resource management. And let's look at ship real quick. We can. Uh, we should probably upgrade shields or. Power. But remember that if you upgrade a system, you don't actually utilize it until you add power to it. Okay, that is the thing. Um, because of all this scrap we're getting, I'll do that and keep going. Then upgrade the system later. Jump. Oh fuck. You stumble across a Ford Scout of the Rebel Fleet. Fuck. They are powering up their FL FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Um, so we need to kill these hoes. Yep. Um, fuck those hoes. And fuck those hoes. You did that wrong. You never activated your Artemis. There you go. Dang it. Oh, you no, know, because Artemis fired. And then, there we go. So in this case, the enemy has a repair drone, I guess that is. So, yes. so you might want to knock out their drone system as well. Or actually, I think that might be a defense. I'm not entirely sure. They got away. Son of a bitch. And so this is where I do the whole book it to hell. You can. Or you could waste your time, but whatever you want to do. You arrive, at a lar you arrive at the long range beacon. When the FLT drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. St Cliff, stop saying FLT, it's FTL. FTL, damn it. It's not a BLT. <laughs> they need to charge up their BLT. Jump. Woot. All right, so you can go for the hostile sector, or you can go for the nebula sector. And so, Press one or two. Yeah, okay. One or two. There we go. Mantis homeworlds, uncharted nebula. Fuck the mantis homeworlds. So now you're in a nebula, so most of the systems within this nebula have nebula, which means your uh, scanners don't work. Yeah, that's shitty. Um, I'm going to be an instigator and attack the pirates. Woo -hoo. for you. One more hit and they will um, die. They got their shields up. And I'm out of missiles. Just hit them with that. Because the, it's a three burst laser so the first two will take out the shield and then the last one will hit them. That was a shit ton of scrap. That's why it's worth killing these dudes. So, um, so you still can't really do much, but now that you're out of missiles, well, actually, no, because the firebomb also uses missiles. So your burst laser is currently the only thing you got, and nothing else will take power because shields uh, use sets of two power blocks. So you got to get upgrade that again before you'll be able to upgrade it. Um, require system upgrade. So I guess just keep on keeping on. Jump in. What the fuck is all this? Uh, awesome ship detected. The rebel fleet was prepared for the nebula in the sector, so it won't be as effective a hiding spot. 
This game gets intense real quick. It's getting tough. And this is easy mode. Oh, shoot. That was probably a bad idea. But. Well, maybe you'll get some uh, missiles for killing them if you manage not to die. They're missing you, so it's all good. That's not good. Um, just take out the weapons. So what's your favorite sci-fi media clip? Sci-fi media? Well, I really liked uh, sci-fi's portrayal of Dune. That was good. But I need to actually read the book, because apparently it doesn't do the book justice. Probably not. They look like they don't want to fight. They are trying to escape. And then I'll I'll leave. I'm physically free. Was Jesus? This is. And it doesn't look like there's anywhere else I can really go. Yeah, you're pretty much out of luck. I have no missiles. You jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple, recently. Inca yeah. Incapacitated. Incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Manually search the records for survivors and equipment. Man, go all in. Alright, you got some missiles, you got some scrap. I think you got an extra dude. Oh shoot, we got, we got a new dude. Awesome. This dude's like a freaking robot or something too. With the sensors down, you spend a good deal of time staring out the window. It is, you must admit, rather beautiful here. So you probably want to assign your dude to shields or something. Also, your dude, other dude never left the med base. You need to move the, that guy back into the weapons. And apparently you still have doors open that you never closed. There you go. Okay, so shields, let's go ship. And let's see, we can upgrade power bar. So, what would be the next best thing to upgrade right now? Uh, next thing would probably be shields, but you don't have enough scrap. Yeah. So then. And then I guess you also don't have enough power bars. Then we'll see. We'll just wait. Also, now that you have missiles, you can activate your Artemis again or whatever you want to do. Yeah. I kind of want to see if I can get to that store. So I can get some more missiles. Yeah. Your crew are constantly looking out the window chain. They, yeah. Jump. Oh shoot, I think the rebel, rebel wave is coming. Oh no. You cycle through the wideband communication channel as soon as you arrive. Nothing but static. So this is a very boring area thus far. Nothing boring about this game. Woot. Wu-Tang? Yeah. You discover a cluster of Federation refugee ships taking shelter in the folds of the nebula. I'm sorry, we've got nothing to give you. But we need scrap to keep the engines running. You sense they'll strike a trade. Okay. Yep. And let's see, what else? Crew teleporter cloaking. So what's the crew teleporter do, Kevin? That will send your crewmen to invade the other ships. I wish I had enough scrap for that. Yep. Now let's get out of this sector as soon as possible, son of a bitch. This is an automated ship, so it doesn't have crewmen, so sometimes they're easier to take out. Sometimes they don't have shields, but this one has shields. That, that, that bitch looks intense. But it has fewer systems than a fully manned ship. So your life support is damaged, your engines are damaged. 
These motherfuckers You're have dying. fucking la these motherfuckers have laser beams. You got burst laser? I got burst laser, but not like it shoots like pew pew. That was enough. And you wasted a missile. Investigation station. You got a drone, even though I don't think you can use it, but you can sell that at a uh, place. Store. Well, I will probably sell that later. So you got some money, so you need to upgrade some stuff. So, power up your shields. Press it again. Power up your med bay since it's unpowered. And you should be good to go. And so I'm out of jump, it appears to be the case. Oh, you're out of fuel. That's bad. Yep. Um, so press jump again. Now press wait. So you have to wait. You're sending out a distress, distress beacon. So somebody showed up. The ship approaches the house. We need some fuel. It's a trap. And we're boned. We are so boned. So, so boned. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so the shields are down. Freaking take out. Yeah, okay, I'm out of missiles, and so all I have is burst laser. You have made your point, we are beaten. Take these and leave us to our shame. Yep. Alright. So jump. Next sector. Pirate controlled sector, Zoltan controlled sector. Zoltan for... Since you have no fuel and no missiles, yep. you probably want to go to civilian sector. Wait. Now you're probably going to get, oh, who's this? You don't have money or whatever they want. That's awfully gracious. Awesome. Okay, so it doesn't look like this area has a lot of big connections. It looks like it's going to be one to one. You spy two pirate ships lurking in the nebula here. They remain unaware of your presence. You are able to get your scanner to at least identify their cargo. One is carrying the fuel supplies, the other the ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other. In the storm, secure the fuel supply. I don't want to secure the ammunition. All your call. With no missiles, and it looks like my shields are fucked up. I might need to let them leave. And dude, go here. And dude, go here. And now we jump. You arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they're researching that stuff again. It's a trap. Fucking knew it! As soon as you dot Pyrus, you hear the Zoltan yell in the distance. We're being uh, this is. I will put money down that this is going to be the end of your game. They probably. have a they have a crew teleporter, so they will probably invade your ship. And they uh, have invaded your ship. Damn! Open the damn. doors. Open open all the doors to get not all the doors. Open I'm doors. I'm like like everyone get out. Just no. Well, you, you, the idea was you're going to open doors and leave doors closed so that you stop them from chasing you. Close all the doors, Cliff. You're killing me. Close all the doors. All right, take your dude out of that room. Now open that door. Open the airlock. To, I'm, I'm, and I'm pretty sure take, that dude's dead. Take, take, take. No, no, oh, that I, I'm dude pretty died. sure it's getting. Well, then open now. the freaking airlock. Where's the airlock? On the left. Left, left. Not left of your ship. That one. The door. That one. Well, I th I'm pretty sure it's don't, too no, late. No, open that door. Oh, oh, oh no, that, you need to, that dude's gonna die. That's good. They close that door. Open that door next to the life support. Open all those doors. You need to get oxygen going out of this building. Them. 
All right. This is good in that those guys are going to die probably. This is bad in that your guys are still going to die probably. Son of a bitch. Dang. You probably need to get one of your guys to that life support. Close all the doors. That's med bay. You need life support. You have no oxygen. Alright, your only hope is to kill those guys manually, so you need to send your robot guy in to kill them too. Go robot and that, guy. that other dude is not going to be able to get the life support up fast enough. Well, he actually did manage to save your life support, but you have no oxygen. And I have no weapons. And you have no people. You lost. Dang. I was right. <laughs> you lost. Well, well, they they had they could teleport onto my ship. I was, I was pretty much boned. Well, that was FTL. How'd you feel about that, Cliff? That was awesome. All right. So, guess that's it for today. Catch you guys on the flip side. Tune in next time to this conference channel. We might finish building that one thing in Minecraft, but probably not. We might play Oblivion instead, or some audio server, some new. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh yeah.